three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right now. It's Dylan Jacob. Hey, this is a letter. I made a letter basically for y'all as a letter. This is for everyone who has loved somebody and felt like they haven't been loved back equally. This is for everyone who feels neglected by whether it's your significant other, your parents. We've all been in the situation where we've cared about somebody and felt like we haven't had that equal care back. Why do you not care for me? Loving you, not loving me, embarrassing. It's embarrassing, like it's straight up embarrassing. Like how much I love you knowing that you don't love me back. Like that shit is just embarrassing. I done seen it all, so I don't even think you gonna be there for me. Say you say you love me, you don't cherish me. People always tell you, I love you. You mean so much to me. I'll do anything for you. But in the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people just be talking. They just be talking, man. I, I can't stand that shit. Now, if I lose the love and you see me from the other side, sometimes people think just because you've had love for them or just because you love them, that's how you are. But in reality, like, I love you. There's a reason why you get this Dylan from me. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody gets this same person from me. So if I lose the love for you, if you fuck me over, and I lose this love, and you see me from the other side, like, you're gonna think I'm a demon. You're gonna hate me. On a stage, screaming fuck the other guys. If they wanna do it, I could stay and catch another ride. But I ain't trying to see no mothers cry. This bar was kind of like my, my little nod back, I guess. Everybody wants to say, like, they wanna beef and they wanna click up, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, I mean, if you really wanna do it, I could stay. I, I could let my homies leave, I'll catch another ride, but I ain't trying to see no moms cry, whether it's yours or mine. Baby, that could be a lot of drama. Pull up with this big ass chopper, blocker. If they pursue it on my mama, mama, I'll smoke their ass like marijuana, wanna. Basically with this, I just meant to say, I don't want no problems. I'm never the person that wants problems. I mind my own business, I do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? But I do got these big ass choppers and these motherfuckers go blocker. And playing try to cross me. Cause if you do yellow tape, no more walking. Everybody thinks shit is sweet, you know what I'm saying? Until, you know, you can't walk no more. You know, wheelchair life. Yeah, everything is getting hot and you gon' sweat. Like seen a lot of real people really turn fake. Seen a lot of lonely coming your way. I seen a lot of real people really turn fake. I seen a lot of people who are supposed to be real, who are supposed to be the realest people, turn out to be cap and I seen a lot of lonely coming your way cause you happen to be one of those people. You see that we homies, no we ain't. You know, you tell everybody that we homies or you call me a homie and you treat me like your bro. But in reality, we're not homies. We're so much more than that. And that's what that lyric means. A lot of people think that that lyric means, you know, we're not friends, we're not close, I don't know you. No, it's more like, we're more than that. So how can you just treat me like a homie? You ain't down with the old me, you don't know me. Seen a lot of OGs get old and turn cap. People always want to say they knew you or they know me, but you don't know the old me. You don't know who I was before, so don't be saying that you know me. You know what I'm saying? And I seen a lot of my OGs, a lot of, we all got them. It's those old people over in the corner and they just talk about their stories that they did once in a while. And we, ain't, we never actually believe them, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be an OG get old and turn cap. Sitting in they old days, never going back. Working every day, so I never turn that. So whatever you put on me, give me all that. Like I said, the OGs, they be sitting in they old days telling all these stories, but they ain't never gonna be able to go back. So I'm working every day, so I never turn that. And whatever you put on me, whatever you put on me to get rid of me, whatever you gonna put on my head, give me all that, cause you ain't gonna get rid of me. I just want somebody who love me when I be off though. Someone to touch me just like I touch my semi though. I just want someone who love me when I be off those. When I'm off one, I want a girl who still love me. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody, whether it's a girl, a parent, or whatever. I want somebody who still love me for me. Someone to touch me. Like I touch my semi-auto, big blickies over here. A woman who want me as much as I want forgiados. I want forgiados. I want the big 25, 28 inch forgiados on the whip. You know what I'm saying? We don't got that yet. We gonna have it soon, so. I want a girl who want me as much as I want for Giados. 
Fully automatic, put you in a quick scope. Careful, this bullet and this pistol is a missile. I been focusing on wealthy, fuck a rich move. Fuck a rich move. We don't wanna be rich, we wanna be wealthy. We wanna be healthy and we wanna be secure. Fuck being rich. Pocket money don't mean shit, I wanna be wealthy. Healthy, blessed, and pockets on full. Not a rest, it's for God to unfold. It's not my timing, it's God's timing. So if I don't make it now, then I'm gonna make it later. And if I make it now, the Dre, that's great. If I, if I die young, then I die young. It's not my timing, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta remember that everything else is, is in God's hands. But right now I'm blessed, cause I'm healthy, I'm blessed, and my pockets are all full. <laughs> and I ain't never played a game until I got a in it. Then it worked like I was wanted, so I switched positions. Man, you ever played a sport and you were ass at the sport, but then you realized you were just ass at that position? <laughs> that was me. So, you know, I never played the game until I got in it. I never had practice. I got in the game and I played the game. And then I, re I realized that the position that I'm playing, I fucking suck at. I'm trash. Put me in a different position, coach. <laughs> Breaking every time I shot, I started aiming different. Peeping when the money came, how you start hanging different. I had to adapt. I had to be adaptable. In order to win, I had to know that I can't just shoot one way. I got to aim different. You know what I'm saying? And when money comes, people change up. You start hanging different. If that's how you are, then get the fuck around me because I don't want you near me. And I know you only love me when I'm up. In Louis Vuitton, but when you dead and gone, where does it go? As fast as it comes, as it goes, you'll be sad as fuck. Cause people only love things when they gone. Nobody cherishes anything until it's not there no more. So you only love me right now because I got money. Because I'm draped down in Louis and Gucci and whatever the fuck it may be. But in reality, when all that's gone, where does it go? We don't know. And that's when you actually going to love me. You tell me that you love me and you want me, but you don't. You know, you always tell me you love me. You always tell me you care about me. You tell me that I mean so much to you. When in reality, your actions say I don't mean shit. And I want to believe you when you say it, but I won't. Scared to be alone all by myself and on my own. You know, I felt like a lot in life, I never really actually cared about people. I was just scared to be alone. So I think I surrounded myself with people that maybe didn't really love me just because I didn't want to be alone. And I would blind myself to the fact that they're just around me for selfish reasons because I just want to have company. So I don't even know why we're on the phone. 